Welcome back to this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an actual site or having an actual new login page directly into Google Sites. So exactly Google Sites is a versatile platform to create a website, but it doesn't have built-in features for user authentication or creating login pages. However, we can achieve similar functionality by integrating the Google Forms and using a third-party services. So, to do this process, I must have already started with an actual website. So if you go into sites.google.com, you might be having access to a lot of templates where you just get started and creating whatever website based on one template. So what I'm gonna be doing here is to go back, go into my recent sites, and of course create one site in order to continue. Now that I have access in here, what you want to do is to, of course, create a Google form to log in credentials. So if I go into a new tab and open the docs.google.com forms, I can get started with a blank form. So I'm going to create a new form and add the fields for username and the password. So let's say, for example, here that I go for access, login, select all of this and go for both. Now here, let's say enter the password to access. And here I'm going to type which is the passcode. Oopsie daisy, I'm going to just go back and go for passcode. And here I go for short answer. Let's say that my short answer text should be an actual question. So if I select this element, what I need to do of course is to make sure that I go for three dots and go for respond validation. So the respond validation should be text, contains, and here in the text, let's say that the passcode should be express. And when somebody just adds something that is not this passcode, I'm gonna go for please verify your passcode or contact us at admin uh, text Dot com for example here's the required value so the short answer text should be expressed now that I have done this process let's go of course and make sure that the form match my site design and ensure the response are set to be collected automatically so if I go here and to customize my site I can change the text to green and here into my settings I wanted to make sure that here into presentation Let's say that I don't see the focus bar, shuffle question order, confirmation message. This should be really important. So I go for edit. And after the submission, after somebody clicked into my actual passcode, into the right passcode, let's say click here to access the login, uh, the members area. And what I need to do now is to go back into Google Sites. I'm going to hit now into Pages, and I'm going to create a new page. This new page should be Access or Members Access. Let's go for Done. So when somebody, of course, uh, clicked and asked them here to sign in, they should be having access to the Members to Access. So this image should be heather typed text only and I'm gonna just quickly just add something really easy for example welcome to the members access nobody can see this unless they have signed it in so with that being said now I can just leave this as it is and make sure that this page is hidden from your navigation bar so I go for hide from navigation. Nobody can access this section. So that means that what I need to do is to copy the link of this website. So if I hit into published, I'm gonna go for publish once again. And here into the upper side, we have this link of this member site. So if I make sure, of course, that I have this link, I'm going to paste it into my form so everybody can access this place if they sign it in. So now what I need to do is to go back here. Let's go into the home section and add a new login section. So here I'm going to go for done. It says logged in. And here I'm going to insert the logged in that we have created with the Google Forms. In this case, let's go for Forms. And here it is, my form created. 
it says uh, credentials, right? So I go and select this one and hit into insert. I should be seeing here that we now have access to this actual request, access request. After I have insert my access request, I'm gonna hit now into published and make sure it actually worked. So I'm gonna hit now into published go into my website and reload the page and make sure I have now access to it. As you can see, I don't see the member page here. So I need to go here into my home, look for login, and here's gonna be asking me to have access. So I'm gonna hit here where it says passcode. Let's say that I just uh, enter something that is not express, one, two, three, for example. Submit, please verify your passcode. It's not working. So let's type the right passcode which is submit and now here is the access request access here I click it into the site that is now enabled and there we go we are now inside the members access this section of course it's not appearing into the search bar that we just generated them so as you can see this is how we can actually implement this kind of elements inside Google Sites. If you want to, of course, to try to add much more elements, I can totally suggest you try it out with more uh, online website creators rather than just uh, Google Sites. So guys, with that being said, you can never to the very end of the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So with that being said, that's a grab of how we can add this stuff directly into your actual website of the Google Sites. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Your partner in digital innovation. See you next time.